The Hughes Tarso conjunctival flap is such a useful and versatile flap that I felt it deserved its own video. The key steps are to have control of the upper lid and certainly when you're first learning it's useful to put in a proline suture and fully evert the upper lid over a lid guard. The next step is to measure four millimeters and mark four millimeters down from the border of the lid in order to leave a safe margin to provide adequate supporting structure to the upper lid. You then cut through the tarsal plate, trying to cut just full thickness from one edge to the other, depending on the size that you need, and then make a vertical cut again into the conjunctiva. At this point it's worth tucking the blade in and making a little pocket here to be sure you are absolutely through the tarsal plate. The reason for this is the next step. To make life easy what you want to do now is pocket from one side to the other behind the tarsal plate hugging the surface of the tarsal plate and once you have hold of the tarsus with the St. Martins the spring scissors with the tip pressed against the tarsus can go from one side to the other and then in one or two cuts you can completely open up the first stage of the Hughes flap with a minimum of trauma to any of the underlying tissues. The next step is to make two relieving cuts vertically into the superior fornix, cutting into the conjunctiva, and these vertical cuts will allow the, the Hughes flap to pull downwards without causing uh, an eventual retraction of the upper lid when the Hughes flap is released. And then the last step is to separate the mullers from the conjunctiva, and by drumming the edge a pocket is found in between the conjunctiva and mullers and again in exactly the same fashion as before you can push right from one side to the other creating a tunnel separating the conjunctiva on one side with the mullers on the other. Taking the mullers off is then as easy as leaving one arm of the scissors in that tunnel and the other on the outside and there you go, one nice Hughes flap. And then finally, minimal cautery. You want your flap to be vascularized to bring in a blood supply.